come on in here. It's time to eat. Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of What We Eating. Uh, y'all know I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into it. Today I'm going to be making the crispiest buttermilk refried chicken. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and get started. All right y'all, so right now I have some chicken strips that I have here and they're already washed and clean and ready to go. I have buttermilk, an egg, and some seasoning, and you're gonna need your flour, okay? I'm also gonna use this um, zesty basil thyme lemon zest. I've never used that before, so we're gonna try it today. And what you wanna do is go ahead and just add some of that to your chicken, okay? And then we're just gonna, you know, stir that chicken up a little bit, make sure you get the um, seasoning all on it. Mm -hmm. Just stir that up real good and coat the chicken strips really good. Turn this down a little bit. I have some beans and greens on, so I'm going to turn that down just a little bit. Okay, I think that's coated really good. Alright, so I have um, the chicken already seasoned, so I'm just going to dip this in the flour. And let that get coated real good and we're gonna fry it first and you're gonna fry this first and then you're gonna come back dip it in buttermilk and egg and then you're gonna refry it again okay that's how you're gonna get that real crispy tenders and you can also do it with just regular chicken but I chose to do tenders today let's see if this is hot and ready to go and it is all right so we're gonna come on over here and we're going to drop this chicken. And you're gonna cook it until it's golden brown. All right, so we're gonna check this chicken. Looking good, it's almost done. This first batch. And I have my heat to about a seven. I just turned it down a little bit because I don't want it to cook too fast because I'm going to fry it again. So yeah, it's looking about not how I need it. We're gonna let that cook some more, just a couple more minutes. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and take this out and place it on some paper towel so we can drain some of that grease. that flour because you're going to use this flour again. Alright y'all. So I think this is good enough for this last batch here. So we're going to take this out. I'm going to let that grease drip off of there. I'm just going to place them over here. And remember they're not done just yet because we're going to refry them. What we're going to do is put some um, put another batter on them. It'll be a buttermilk batter. They're gonna be so crispy, juicy, all that good stuff. So we're gonna let that sit for a minute. We're gonna come on over here. 
and we're gonna add some buttermilk to this bowl. That's good. Go ahead and add one egg. Add a little bit of garlic seasoning to it. A little bit of onion powder. And what I just added was garlic powder too. So garlic and onion powder. Bit of pepper and just a little bit of salt, not too much. We're just gonna mix that up. chicken that you just took out and you just want to dip that in there that's all you want to do let me get a my tongs real quick that's hot okay so you just want to dip those in there do a few at a time make sure you coat it really good and you want to place it in your flour that up really good because you're gonna fry this again. I'm gonna come on over here to this grease. And I have my baby girl filming again today. She's just following me around. <laughs> okay, so now you wanna just place it back in that grease again. And you want to cook it for about three more minutes, three to four minutes. And if it seems like your fire is too hot, by all means, just turn it down a little. All right. So these are looking really crispy, turning golden brown, and that's what you want right there. See how that's looking? That's what you want. We're gonna let that cook a few more minutes. We're gonna finish getting this other batch of chicken batter. All right, so the chicken is done, you guys. The first batch is done. Okay, and we're just gonna go ahead and get the rest of this fried up, and I shall be back. The chicken is ready. And again, this is the crispiest buttermilk refried chicken. And my husband came up with the idea to refry. And I was like, yeah, this is a good idea. I don't have a recipe for this, but I will have everything that I use in the description below. And we're just gonna go ahead and garnish this just a little bit. You know, we gotta get that money shot. Just a little bit. All right, you guys. And as always, I want to thank you Please like, subscribe, and share. And until next time, bye.